For this CRM portion of the demonstration, we're going to take a look at transparency of sales information such as leads and opportunities can directly Im improve the top line revenue to improve profitability and growth. From an efficiency perspective, we will see several examples of business task management and built-in business flows as we progress the lead through the opportunity, quote, and sales order. And from an adaptability perspective, how the sales representative can tailor the home page to see the information that they are the most interested in and personalized screens such as order entry so they can see projects as those projects are assigned to particular sales orders. So let's take a look at the software. We're signed in as Roberta Johnson. Roberta has tailored her homepage to have sales order volume with particular accounts and the, and the volumes for each one of them, services ordered, confirmed, and invoiced, and opportunity volume. Roberta can operate in marketing and sales. From a marketing perspective, she can come in and establish uh, target groups of customers, develop marketing campaigns against those, and then as those responses come in, generate leads to pass along to other folks that are in sales. Roberta also helps out in sales, and she can process uh, leads, turn those into opportunities, then generate sales quotes, and finally turn that into a sales order. And that's the process that we're going to walk through right now. So let's go in and take a look at a lead. The first thing we noticed is that the system has sent the business task management for open tasks. So somebody else in marketing has sent a lead over to Roberta for High Electronics and Hudson Technologies. She decides to drill into this detail for the High Electronic lead. She sees that this is for a new store 121 to do computer installation. She's got various uh, status information such as qualification, current status, uh, classification, source, and these are all things that you can set up in your implementation so that these codes are meaningful to the way you do business. If we scroll down and take a look at the bottom of this, we see related activities from marketing. So all activities such as phone calls to validate the budget and timeline, emails where we send additional product information, sample installation plan for example. All of this can be tracked in the system so that you see all of the different interactions with the customer relative to this particular lead. Before accepting this lead, Roberta decides to drill into the High Electronic Technologies account. She immediately notices that there is a public note. We will be increasing the credit limit next month to $100,000 and this was sent by the CEO. This is an example of how you can have collaboration across the entire enterprise using sticky notes and the business task management system. She decides to take a look at the sales tab to get a, a bigger picture view of the account. So here we see uh, uncompleted uh, quotes. So she's got a couple of quotes that are already outstanding and one of them is on target, it's in process, and it's got $90,000 of value in it. She also sees several other opportunities that are going to, in and of themselves, turn into $100,000. So this $100,000 credit limit is going to be a particular limitation that she might want to move forward. So she could, if she wanted to, come in and create a new clarification request and send that over to the CEO and ask, is there any way that we could move that credit limit update forward so that we could go ahead and get these orders in a little bit quicker. 
but she decides that for now to drill down and take a look at the view all so that she can see more information about the contacts within the accounts. She sees that there's only one contact that's been identified, but you can have as many different contacts as you want to within the organization. And then you can also keep track of how they want to communicate. What's the collaboration that they would like to have for receiving their sales quotes? Do they want to get that via email, fax, printer? Uh, what, what are the contact hours that they would like to be contacted? Any notes and attachments about the account. So she can see everything that she needs about this account. She decides to go ahead and process this lead. So she's going to close out the account and do a follow-up opportunity. The system generates a copy of the information from the lead and so she's got the account information, the description, and now we see some new information, the sales cycle and the phase. So you can have as many different sales cycles as you want to and you can define the different steps that you would go through for each one of those uh, sales cycles. So that's the phase. We're going to move this to the quotation phase and we see that that immediately changed the chance of success. We can put in an expected value in here of $10,000 and also come in and add some additional information, some additional detail to this particular opportunity to add a, pro a product or service and so we're going to add the computer equipment installation and say that this is going to be for a hundred hours and the system automatically prices this out for us. Now we're going to save the opportunity and then go into the view all so that we can get at some more detail. As we take a look at the sales activities, we can see for each one of the major phases, such as the quotation phase, there are suggested tasks that should be performed. We're going to select the develop solution proposal and add that task. You'll notice that this adds a sales activity over here on the right. This immediately moves over to Microsoft Outlook if you have the Microsoft Outlook integration turned on. You can perform bi-directional integration with Microsoft Outlook. So this task would go over to Microsoft Outlook and any emails that come in related to this opportunity can be sent over and attached to the opportunity. You can also see the document flow. So we see that this opportunity came from uh, lead 272. So we're building in the audit trail for this best practice flow. Let's save this opportunity and then generate a follow-up quote. The system again copies the information over from the from the opportunity and we have an opportunity now to come in and, and put in any additional information. This is uh, from you know their particular project 121 and we can come down and do any updates that we need to here on the quantities. After we've talked to them we've determined that they can uh, take a look at 120 hours instead of just 100 uh, hours. So again, this particular quote has a life of its own. And we're going to go ahead and submit this. And then we can refresh our document flow for our opportunity and see that we've moved from a lead to an opportunity over to a sales quote. Now any time that you're on a document flow and you want to go back into a particular document, you simply highlight that and it'll take you directly to it. So as we're looking at this quote, we decide that we want to go ahead and turn that to a sales order. And again, the system copies in the information that we had before 
and now gives us a little bit more information that we can work with. <clears throat> but at this point in time, we're simply going to replace this Project 121 with a purchase order from the customer. Let's save this. And I wanted to highlight that down below at the line item level, we now see project task in the line item level. So the way we've got this set up as a best practice is a division of duties so that the project manager can build the project associated with this order and then update the order with that. And Roberta can at any point in time see that information but she's not privileged to go in and create projects on her own. So we have this division of duties and, and role-based security built into the system. Let's come back over to the opportunity and refresh the document flow. And we see that we've done a lead, turned that into an opportunity, turned that into a quote, and then to a sales order. Now we've done all of this in browser mode. But we can also perform these functions in the mobile solutions. So you can use your Blackberries, Androids, iPhones, uh, iPads, etc. to manage accounts, put in and, and manage leads, uh, process sales orders, opportunities while you're out on the road as well. So let's just summarize what we've seen from a transparency perspective. We've got access to the information that we are the most interested in uh, from a sales perspective so that we can drive top line revenue and improve profitability. From an efficiency perspective, we saw a couple of different examples of business task management where we saw the task coming in from marketing over for Roberta to process. We saw information coming from the CEO on the account that, that told us about the credit limit that was going to change. And we saw from an efficiency perspective the business flow from a lead to an opportunity to a quote to an order. And from an adaptability perspective, we saw the tailored home page to get at just the information that Roberta wanted to see and on an order the ability for her to see the projects that were associated with the particular orders. So that concludes our CRM portion of the demonstration.